Every day, thousands of different advertisements are posted onto Craigslist. A great percentage of these ads are people selling individual items. However, there are lesser known sections of Craigslist you may or may not even realize exist. You can find housing, you can find people to do fun activities with, although I may not recommend that. My interest in Craigslist was the section of their website called gigs. This is where you can find short, odd jobs that people need help with. These gigs can virtually be anything, so we don't know what we're gonna be doing, but we do know we're gonna be spending the next seven days of our life on Craigslist. Here we go. It's time for us to figure out what we're gonna be doing first on Craigslist. So, we're on their website. They have a website and an app, so you can do this on both. First option is package delivery helper, 25 bucks an hour, that's not bad. If this ad is up, we are still hiring. We'll call back after you complete an application. Application should take two minutes. That looks like it's a full-time job. This is, uh, we're off to a bad start here. Thank you, Craigslist. Earn 150 to $250 in two hours sharing opinions on consumer topics. Nationalfocusgroups.com, okay. we were recruit over a hundred studies per year offering up to $17.50 for your time. All right, well, let's quickly apply for this national focus group. What is the best email for important study updates? Um, I'm just gonna give them an email that I don't check. Thank you for completing the survey. Labor help wanted. All right, Victoria County, let's see. Needing help doing odds and ends on the job site. Tasks include shoveling, sweeping, wheelbarrowing, four to six hours of work at $20 an hour located in Victoria, Minnesota. We're gonna favorite this ad and call them if we don't find anything else that's more interesting. I have a seven by 12 foot H and H trailer. I need a new axle installed after November 20th, 350 cash. I can't install an axle. So um, we're out. Videographer needed ASAP. Whoa. You're looking for a professional videographer this coming Sunday, October 31st. We are looking for a one man band to film a simple sit down interview and some B roll. Shoot is the it. Thief River Falls, Minnesota, about five hours from Minneapolis. <laughs> Must have two DSLR 4K cameras, lab, mic lights, tripods, and gimbals. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna star that one, but that's a lot of driving. That's 10 hours of driving. Excel knowledgeable person for one assignment. All right, let's 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 see. We're looking to hire someone to assist on one assignment, which would require making a house call to a customer in Woodbury, face-to-face -face with the client to complete a simple Excel spreadsheet. Must be highly proficient in Windows Excel. Hourly pay plus mileage pay. All right, see, this is an interesting gig. Let's try this one out. Reply. I mean, I'm not amazing at Excel, but I think I can do it. I took a couple classes up on it in college, and so I think we might be able to do that one. Okay, email done and sent. Siding slash roofing. I can't do either. It helps when you have skills when you look at Craigslist gigs. That's what I'm learning so far. I spent a few hours responding to advertisements, sent out some emails, some text messages, until eventually we found some work. All right, guys, I'm on my way to the first Craigslist gig of the week. We're going to a mall close by and we're helping build a store, apparently. I'm gonna film everything with the GoPro in the shaker bottle. This trick is from when I became a panhandler for a week. My brother suggested it to me. So we're gonna be using that to film kind of discreetly so we don't make a whole ruckus. All right, our first mission was to locate some guy named Andrew in a Batman shirt. He was gonna be next to the store lids. Now this proved to be too complicated and I ended up asking two girls if their names were Andrew. <laughs> Are you Andrew? Andrew? Yeah, who, neither of you Andrew? Okay. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. I thought one of them might have been it. I just, I don't want to talk about it. This is why I'm single. The guy that was standing in front of us turned out to be Andrew. Yeah, I think so. What's your name? Luke. Luke, and you are Andrew? Yes. There's Andrew, look at that. In our defense, there were two Andrews working the same job that we were working. One of them had a Batman shirt and the other did not. Next, we went into the bowels of the mall, through this scary hallway to this scary loading dock. At this point in time, it's easy to start thinking, what blunt object can I use to defend myself if things go wrong? But anyways, we unloaded a bunch of items off a truck and a trailer that we we're gonna be using to build the store within the mall. We took them back through the scary corridors and we placed them near where we were gonna be setting them up. Your name was Raymond? Yeah. Nice to meet you, I'm Luke, man. Luke, nice to meet you. You bought it on Craigslist, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. Didn't you? <laughs> 
Our productivity was soon broken up by a few employees from Aunt Annie's who asked us if we wanted any free items that they were just gonna be throwing away. Um, I'll grab that pepperoni pretzel. That's kind of like, it's screaming my name a little bit, you know? <laughs> I'm answering that call. What's your name, man? Andrew. Andrew, that's right. Nice to meet you, man. Nice. Is there two Andrews? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I love this country, man. Thank you, Aunt Annie's. After our first snack break, we got to work. We started to assemble these metal components together that were gonna be the structure of the store. After that was done, we added a bunch of shelves and magazines and lights, and this is what it looked like at the end. After nearly three hours, we have completed our first Craigslist gig. We set up a kiosk that sells calendars. All sorts of different calendars, funny calendars, serious calendars, calendars that are about dogs, all sorts of different calendars. And we made a handsome $60 in the process. Feeling good about that. I'm not a handy man, so helping put everything together was good practice for me. One day I'm gonna turn to my wife and say, babe, Get me a hammer, some nails, and a chimichanga in case I get hungry, I'm fixing that roof. And then I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna go fix the roof and yeah, I'll also have good homeowner's insurance in case I, you know, something bad happens. I hope that they'll cover it. Okay, never mind. Now before we go to day number two, I gotta warn you that we're gonna be dealing with some more adult content. So if you're young or you have kids that are watching this, I'd advise you to fast forward this next part. This morning's been really slow. There hasn't been a lot of posts with people looking for work and we haven't heard back from a lot of the people we emailed and texted and called yesterday. Oh no! <sighs> guys, 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 guys. I messed up. I did something very stupid. I clicked on this ad that said male model 18 plus I got excited I've never been a model and I would like to try I mean I don't think I'd be a great model but I wanted to see hey maybe maybe they're maybe they need a schmuck like me you know it says looking for 18 plus male model no experience required pay is $300 I have no experience and I would like $300. This is an easy equation. So I replied to the ad. I said, hi, my name is Luke. I'd like to hear more about his modeling. I meant this modeling. I'm 23 by the way. My number is this. Here's a headshot from the summer. This was the email they sent me back. Hi Luke, thanks for your interest. Apologies in advance if this isn't the type of gig you are interested in. I'm getting nervous at this point. These videos are being shot for a small, very softcore fetish site in the macrophilia genre? I have no idea what that means, but I know I don't like it. It's a collection of short stories around the concept of the main character interacting with a person who's around a centimeter tall. Stepping on them, pretending to eat them, hanging out with them as a tiny friend, or unaware they are even there. There is absolutely no nudity or sexual acts. Link below is a sample clip to kind of give you an idea. What are we watching? <laughs> what? What are we watching? What is going on? He's picking up with his fingers. He's like flying through the air. <laughs> Um, I don't have words after watching that. We're, we're, we're not going to be doing that. It looks like we're not going to be adding macrophilia content creator to the LinkedIn profile. Did we miss out on 300 big ones? Yes. But we also gained a lot of things, like not having to reenact scenes from Honey, We Shrunk the Kids for people's sexual pleasure. It's worth at least 300 to me. All we had to do was find something else. It's day number three, and we had a gig lined up today where we were going to be helping a guy install windows in his customer's house. I'm looking at the weather here, and they're saying 100% chance of rain. Gotcha. If it rains, you know, I don't want to be working because we got a lot of outside work on this job. However, because of the bad rain, he canceled on us and he said we're gonna try tomorrow. Yeah, it was kind of a bummer. I think we were gonna be there around eight to 10 hours, so it was gonna be a nice gig for us. Since the bad weather is out right now, I assume there's gonna be less postings on Craigslist to begin with. So I don't know if we're gonna get much work today. Aww. 
It has been a pretty slow day. However, there's hope because it looks like we're about to get a call from a customer about a photography gig tomorrow. Hey, sorry about the mix up with the phone number. Hey, how are you doing? I am good. How about yourself? I know this is kind of last notice, right, yeah. I suppose. But essentially what I would need going on site to the University of Minnesota to a specific area, looking at the equipment, taking pictures of it, meeting with our seller should take less than an hour. Okay. Um, and I know that the ad said $40 per hour, but to make it worth your while, I'm willing to pay $200 to just get it done. Is this something that you're interested yeah, in? Yeah, let's do it. Get If you can get the NDA over, I'll, I'll sign it as soon as possible and we can get the job done for you. This place is nuts. It's like a science laboratory or something. Now because I signed an NDA, I can't show you the photos I took or much of anything that happened at the shoot. If you're unfamiliar with what an NDA is, it's basically an agreement between parties that you're going to keep things confidential. It's like a pinky promise between friends. You don't want to Break that. We are on our way to the Mall of America where we are gonna be a brand ambassador for Pepsi. Basically, I think we're just gonna be handing out samples of Pepsi to people all day. So we're gonna be doing that for the next five and a half hours. Would you like a zero sugar Pepsi? Yes. Do you want a cherry one or a regular one? Oh, cherry. You want cherry bud? Then there you go, have a good one. All right, we just finished up at the Mall of America being a brand ambassador for Pepsi. It went really well. It was fun to hand out free Pepsis to people. People are very thankful and you get to interact and put a smile on their face. And so I actually really enjoyed it. The time went quick. The disappointing part of it is I think my GoPro accidentally got either stolen or thrown away or something. Not expecting to get that back. So all the GoPro footage is gone from the event. Overall, a really fun day. I think we made over $300 total. We made $200 with our photography gig this morning that took us around 45 minutes. And then we made 20 bucks an hour for five and a half hours, I believe, or five hours at the Mall of America today. Yeah, great day, great day. Patio needed, our contractor flaked out. Seeking a patio installer for a 12 by 20 patio with a curved approximately 100 square foot sidewalk. Compensation about $10,000? I think it's time we learn how to landscape. That is a lot of money. I didn't know patios are that expensive. So it looks like we just missed out on at least one, if not two gigs. One of them was helping a guy remove his dock and put it in storage. The other gig was helping a guy unload a truck. The guy with the dock kind of flaked out on us in terms of wasn't really responding very quickly. Didn't seem like he wanted to get it done today. So there's sometimes some bad communication going on. We probably won't end up finding a gig today, which isn't great because it's a Saturday and you'd expect Saturday to be one of the busiest days of people doing various sort of projects and odd and end things, but we just weren't able to make any of the gigs that were available work. A little bit uh, annoying, but I can't complain too much, so. More than anything, I was frustrated with myself. Sometimes in life you take an L, and this is what your face may look like when you realize you took an L. It's not pretty. Yesterday I responded to an ad about being a B-roll videographer for a sports club. I've never shot anything sports related, at least not professionally. And so this is a very new thing. They called us this morning and asked if we would be able to help them out tomorrow. The gig starts at 9 a.m. and it goes till 4 p.m. and they're gonna give us $400. And all we have to do is record some lacrosse games, maybe do a couple interviews and do some drone footage and send it to them. We don't have to do any editing. So so that's a nice gig. I should have brought some gloves. It's been about 40 degrees all day. It's weird filming a game you know nothing about. They keep using words like, he's hot, he's hot, he's hot. Go at him, go at him. 
I, I don't know what that means. I think my hands are gonna catch some frostbite here soon, so that's not good. I think I caught a sunburn being out there filming so long, which I guess is way more preferable than frostbite. However, people don't really tell you to lather up when it's 40 degrees out and you're going outside. I should have busted out the banana boat on him. We are running so late to our final gig that it's sad. Today we're gonna be some sort of insurance adjuster. These people come to your house, say your house burned down, and then they talk to you about what you owned and what you need to make claims for. We're meeting up with a, looks like a veteran about 30 minutes away, and we're just gonna talk to him and go through some Excel spreadsheets and see what he's owed. Is this how an insurance adjuster um, looks? I don't know. We ended up sitting down with a veteran named John. His house burned down when a project car he had in the garage started on fire. So my job was just to account for everything that he owned and everything that he lost in that fire. So no edger that was gas. You had the electric edger, the Ryobi. Did you have a fertilizer bag? Yeah. Okay. How many? Um, let's say three. Yeah. Three of them? Yeah. How many were, how much were they worth? About 50 bucks a bag. Okay. Uh, did you have fertilizer spreader? Yeah, I had it. Yeah. Okay. I had two of them. We just finished up at our final gig of the, I got snot in my nose, don't I? I guess most people have snot in their nose, but my snot is coming out of my nose. We just finished up at our final gig of the week and it was supposed to go from 8.30 to about 10.30 or maybe 11.30 and it is 2.20 and we are just leaving now. And guess what? We haven't even finished the job. We did around probably 50 to 60% of uh, what we were supposed to. So I guess our final lesson on Craigslist is some jobs will take a lot longer than they're estimated to be. After all the gigs were completed, we ended up making $868 with our week on Craigslist. We were making on average $39 an hour, which sounds good, but there's a caveat because one, that doesn't factor in all the time I spent driving to and from the various gigs. It doesn't factor in all the time I spent making emails to, to, to send off to different clients. And it doesn't factor in all the time I spent looking through the various Craigslist ads. Sometimes you're gonna click on an ad, read all the way through it, and then see that it's not for you, and then click off. So when you factor in all the time we spent doing that, we averaged more like $29 an hour, which is still good, so we can't complain. So overall, great experience. I'm gonna be keeping my eyes open to see if there are any more video gigs that pop up. We're done. That was my week on Craigslist. I hope you laughed, I hope you learned something. Really appreciate the support with this channel and these videos. I'll see you guys soon.